Hey folks, so today on the cottage, I am plumbing in or trying to get working on the plumbing on my rainwater catchment system. So I'm using IBC totes. Um, I have about 12,000 liters here of storage and I'll do a little video that shows uh, one of the connections between these two that are stacked, but I wanted to show you one of the challenges with IBC totes and how I solved it. Okay, so I've got IBC totes stacked up too high. And one of the problems is when you connect these, so the goal is, is to connect and have them fill from the top, run through a pipe, and I'll show you in the next video, through a pipe, and fill from the bottom up. The problem with that is, is you have to get air out of the bottom tank. And so I've got a workaround in my other setup that works, but I didn't want it it's more manual. This is a little bit more automated. One of the problems is, is inside there, there really isn't much clearance between the top of that lid and the bottom of the tank above it, especially when it gets full of water. So I need to get the air out. So what I did was, is I uh, got some fittings, the lowest profile fittings I could find, uh, threaded them together, put a garden hose that's going to come out. It's going to have an elbow here and go up, and that'll be my... Uh, overflow and air escape and then I wedged some two by fours in between and then when I fill this the expansion will the two by fours will prevent the tote above from crushing the fittings below uh, what I ran into the other one I didn't do this until afterwards and so I didn't have a way to bleed the air out automatically so I'll show you what that looks like on that setup Okay, so here's my main collection point off one half of my roof. Um, so what I've got is uh, I've got the two IBC totes stacked up. I've got water coming into the top tank with a drop pipe to allow me to get some filtration and remove solids and sediments. Then uh, what I've got is I've got these two tanks connected here with a cam lock. A T. So what happens is the water comes in to the top, goes, comes out here, down here, and fills from the bottom up. Now the problem is, like I said, there's no way to get the air out of this bottom tank. So what I did was, is I just put an isolation T valve in my PVC. So when I basically have to do this manually. When the bottom tank gets low, I come out and I open the T, and then that allows water from the top tote to gravity feed into the bottom tote, and the air just comes rushing out the hole in the top of that fitting. Once it gets full, I shut off the T valve, and then water can continue to fill here. It's not a perfect solution, but it's kind of, I didn't think of it until after I had it built. So, uh, and then we had some frost this winter, so I had to do some, all these PVC pipes basically broke, so I had to rebuild it. Um, and then what happens is when I want to use this water, I've got the water coming out into a weatherproof box with a little uh, pump that I've got wired in um, uh, there and then uh, output goes into the uh, manifold that is connected to the house water so that I can um, basically get water from anywhere I want through this one uh, water pipe that we have that goes underground and feeds out to the yard. Overflow, so when these overflow, I've got this set up here. So there's it's overflows, comes over and into a rain barrel that I can use uh, for when we have to flush and do other things like that when we have power outages, but also um, uh, my plan is to put a submersible pump in there so that I can have water from this tank. This, When these tanks are full, I can have water from this barrel auto pump out and into the manifold, into the manifold, which will then allow me to take that water from the manifold out to the totes in the yard because uh, I do plan on putting mo more totes out in the yard. Let's see, it's kind of messy because we got several construction projects going right now. 
But there I've got eight totes. I'd like to put another um, similar size array just further behind them where you can't see right now. But um, I should be able to do that in an automated fashion with the sump pump. That's my IBC tote rainwater collection.